Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. It is me, I'm back with a crumble Monday. Um, I'm actually super excited for this week, which I'm kind of nervous for, because I was excited for last week and it ended up being disappointing. But I'm exciting, excited for this one and this one, and kind of that one. That one looks a little sad. Um, I am going to be reading from my laptop. I am still on my phone. So if you see what I'm looking over here, that is what that is. My sister's over here as well. She's gonna be the cookie person. And we're just gonna get started because I'm super hungry. We're gonna just try these. So, and excuse my hair. I don't know what is up with it. Ugh. But we're gonna start with this one because it looks the most disappointing. And I think I just got my bracelet in that one. That one smells really good. They look good except for that one. And this one's a little This bad. is the cinnamon roll, and I know they've had this before. It's a cinnamon roll in a cookie, soft and thick, covered in a layer of cinnamon brown sugar and a delicious swirl of cream cheese frosting. I'm going to like the cream cheese frosting. I know that. But it's definitely soft, though. It breaks. Oh, okay. Maybe the cinnamon goes a little further than I thought. Maybe it'll be better than it looks. I don't even know. That one's got more cinnamon stuff. All right. Smells like... More of a cream cheese frosting is what I can smell. It is cream cheese frosting? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like someone just went like and plopped the icing on top. Mmm. Is it good? Is it's it better than it looks. I was gonna say is it better than last time? Oh no, it wasn't that one last time. It was the maple cinnamon roll that you said tasted like a candle. Mm-hmm. I was that's what I was thinking that one is, but it's not. Oh, it's really soft Ooh. and fresh. It's breaking. Yeah, so this is actually very soft. So basically, uh, to me, what it tastes like is cookie form of those Auntie Anne's cinnamon, cinnamon pretzels. pretzels. Uh huh. I guess it's that cinnamon glaze. Thing. That's gonna go dark. So, cause like the cinnamon is like crunchy. That's what I said when I broke it, it's crisp. Uh huh, but the cookie's soft. So I do like that it has that balance of the soft and the crunch. Um, and the cream cheese frosting, I feel like they always do good on their, my hair's annoying me. I feel like they always do good on their cream cheese frosting. Tastes like a nice fresh cream cheese frosting. I actually really like this one this time. Better than the last time we had it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I would actually I would actually get that again if it's I was in the like mood that. for that. Yeah. But that's good. All right. I'll give one two times at the end. And then we're gonna move on. Save the best one for last. Yeah, I'm gonna go to this one next. <laughs> okay. We're also losing the crumbs on top, whatever that this is. This is the cookie butter lava featuring Biscoff. A melty, mouth-watering cookie stuffed with Biscoff cookie butter and drizzled with Biscoff cookie butter spread and garnished with crumbly cookie butter morsels. This doesn't look like their little crumb on top. I'm sorry, I'll break it for the camera. But the crumb on top, I feel like they should have used Biscoff cookies. It does say cookie butter morsels. But I they're not. That. It might be their cookie butter. Ooh! It does look good. That filling looks... It's cookie butter. I feel like I should try the cookie without. What is it? Just a regular cookie with Biscoff drizzle? Yeah. Mm hmm. So this side? It's just, I think it's a Tastes like a base of a chocolate chip cookie. Yep, that's what I was saying. Their regular chocolate chip cookie base. That was a good bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like cookie butter spread. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Don't you think they should have put Biscoff cookies though on top and not I think so. whatever this is? But the inside, I don't know if it's because it's starting to like not be as warm. It's starting to it's get. It's starting to get. Like Reese's. Like stuck on the roof of my Reese's mouth. Reese's peanut texture. butter consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Reese's peanut butter cup consistency. Like a little dry. Yeah. And gritty. But. If you had that warm. And it was still soft and melty. Like a lava cake. Mm-hmm. Like the lava, that. Yeah. yeah. That would be really, really good. Otherwise, I find it a little dry when it's not as fresh, fresh warm. Um, 
But there's no other way to describe what it tastes like besides Would you know it that. as Biscoff, though? Like, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you're biting the inside, like if you get the inside with it, if you don't, it's just going to taste like a plain chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate chips. If that makes sense. But that was good. But that's tough. I don't know which one I'd go for. I guess we'll see at the end if you keep watching. I'm going to move on. Um, we're going to move to this one right here, I think. <laughs> Might have to cut it. We'll see. Oh, it is cold. So we are going to do the strawberry cheesecake, a luscious three-layer treat, including a chilled graham cracker cookie, vanilla cream cheese frosting, and a house-made strawberry jam. They do really good with their house-made jam, so I have high hopes. <gasps> mm, excuse me. Looks good. Oh, you were able to break it? Yeah. Oh, it just smells the fresh jam. It does smell and like fresh jam. And it is a cream, cream. Did I say cream cheese frosting? Oh, vanilla cream cheese. <laughs> Oh, that's chilled all right. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Wow. See? That's how they need to spread each layer, though. Because I feel like in the past, they've had it with a jam. It's just a small little portion. But they... But I like that it's a thin, thinner layer of... Jam. Instead it's of like it. a thinner layer of jam. So I like that because you're getting it with all your bites. Instead of a thick mm -hmm. lump in the middle. <laughs> I love the jam. I love it. They do so good with their fresh made jam. Mm, I can keep eating it. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Does it taste like a cheesecake? No. Cheesecake, I think I've said this in a past thing. <laughs> cheesecake, I feel like, is a hard thing to, to replicate, replicate the taste of. Um. So I feel like I'm tasting a strawberry vanilla cookie, like a and not word? cheesecake. Yeah, just a strawberry I vanilla, feel like almost like a strawberry shortcake without the shortcake. Okay, that like makes the sense. ice cream yep. like bar where it's like strawberry ice flavor oh, with I the vanilla you were flavor. About the soft cake with the strawberry mm. and the fresh whipped vanilla. No stuff. Okay, but I do think I like this one the most because of that fresh jam and how they evenly spread it. It's so good. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna move on to the last one. And that's that one. Is, is this a peanut butter Oreo on top? No, it's just a regular peanut. No, so this is the chocolate peanut butter featuring Oreo. A chocolate cookie popping with Oreo cookie pieces and peanut butter chips. Ooh. Yeah, this cookie then is gonna be with a so peanut butter mousse and a mini Oreo cookie. This cookie Ooh. is like 12 out of 10. I, I think High. they do good with it. Ooh! I tell you it's that base from Christmas time. You think? Yep. It's that base that they had at Christmas time. That peppermint one. The <laughs> peppermint cookies and cream. That's exactly what it is. Let me put that there for now. Bite the... And that mousse looks so good. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's like a 10 out of 10 cookie right there. Wow. Yeah. 10 out of 10 cookie. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. 14 out of 10. There's a lot of chips in this one. It a lot and of it, butter chips. And you have the cookies and cream from like in the batter as well. That crunchiness. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. That crunchy mm. Oreo. This is like, you would definitely need a glass of milk with this. Yeah. This one's rich because of the peanut butter. But. It has loaded with chips. Mm-hmm. Like loaded. Oh. Mm. That's like a good bite right there. It smells the best. That mousse is so, it's so weird because peanut butter is so rich and so thick. And having it as a mousse is actually really good. Um, you know what you would like then? I don't know if anyone remembers Jif Whip's peanut butter. The best peanut butter. Jif needs to bring it back. So Jif, if you're watching this, which probably not, but if you are, <laughs> bring back your whipped peanut butter because they're the best. To be honest, the most flavor I taste in this is the peanut butter because the chips over the are, Oreo yeah. because of the peanut butter chips. I think what I would have liked is if they had more, more the whole cookie as an Oreo cookie 
And then just had this spread a little more. So like if they used like the white chocolate chips inside mm -hmm. to make like the cream in the Oreo. Yeah, to then... break up the Oreo, like to make it so you can taste both flavors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mainly what I'm tasting is or uh, peanut butter. Still good though. Still very good. And this one isn't as dry as what the tasting of the cookie which butter. Which is surprising. Which is surprising because I feel like peanut butter is dry. it would be the other way around because peanut butter is dry. Can be dry. But that was actually very, very good. And that was definitely served warm. That one's definitely served warm. And the cinnamon roll is definitely served warm. Yeah. I think oh, it was just that one that was served one. chilled. But it's good. That, that one's good. I think this is tough. Because it depends what mood I'm in. Because I feel like... They're all so different. Yeah, I feel like I would put this as first if I'm in the mood for peanut butter. But if I'm in the mood for something more refreshing, I put that as first. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And then second, it depends what I'm in the mood for, I feel like. If you want... Yeah. So this, I would give an 8 out of 10. And I think I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Okay. And these, I think I would give a 6 out of 10. I was going to say 6s. Yeah. This might, just for the dryness of the cookie butter, drop it a little bit. Because overall, that texture was really good for this cookie. They did good on that one. Hmm. That was good. Because, like, right now, I'm in the mood for refreshing. Over, like, rich. <clears throat> but they're good. They're good. I just taste peanut butter in that. I really don't know how else to describe that. So I'm not getting much of Oreo. Even with biting a little Oreo? Mm -hmm. Peanut butter is a strong thing. That's why I think they should have made the cookie just have like the white chocolate chips. Or, or just like an and, Oreo cookie. Yeah. And do yeah. something like that, you know? I think, yeah. But it was good. This is better than last week's in some ways. And in some ways, I do miss the last week's. First of all, this was disappointing. It was, but I did like the Cadbury eggs. Oh, it was that one. <laughs> I loved the Cadbury eggs. And someone did listen. They got more, I think they got more eggs and put on each bite. Because they did comment. Don't have to listen. Have to so I do respond to your comments, just so you guys know. I do read them all and do respond. So if you enjoyed, give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. And comment what you think of this week's lineup and flavors. And if you like them, <laughs> and if you don't get them, because I know some people don't get them. If you don't get them, just rate them what you think you would put them in first through fourth. Which one sounds the best to you? Yeah. Um, thank you again to my sister. <laughs> Off to the side. And I think that's it. Bye.